will give you the step-by-step -step instructions to use the portfolio for the 21st Century Diploma. I will show you how to log into the portfolio, how to select an activity, apply for approval, then after you complete that activity, how to submit an artifact and to get final approval. We're starting at the district website. I am going to scroll down because I want to find the hyperlink for the 21st Century Diploma, which is located on the left-hand side. It's available from both the high school and the district site. I'm going to click on this hyperlink, and this takes us to the page where we have a lot of information for our 21st Century Diploma. The top part here is a logon for the 21st Century Portfolio, which is what I'm selecting now. All our students have logons. It is the first three letters of their first name, followed by their entire last name. And their password is six digits, representing their date of birth. I'm going to select the login button here. And when we come to my page, you will notice that on the right hand side are my menu items that allow me to easily navigate this site. Next thing which you want to do is you want to select an activity. Realize we have a lot of individual activities that you can do on your own, on your own time, and we also have some group activities where you're going to commit to a particular time in a particular place. One place to start is take a look at the newly added activities or the upcoming activities. The way you do that is you click on the plus, and that will expand the category, and then you'll see what activity or activities are listed. If you want to seek approval for this Bring a Friend activity, you click on this View hyperlink that's here, and it will bring you to a screen where you would type some kind of message to the administrator, and then what you would do is you would click on the button to uh, request approval. I am going to cancel it because I do want to show you two additional ways to find activities. Another way to find an activity is to use your menu bar that's located on the right hand side and we're going to search for an activity. You want to think of keywords that might help you find what you're looking for. I know there's a lot of stuff on here that has to do with the college admission process. So I'm going to type in college and I'm going to hit search. You'll see that when I do that, this is going to come up with 19 different activities that I could add to my portfolio. If I happen to be interested in one of these activities, what I would do is I would click on the Add Activity to Portfolio, and it's going to take me to the same screen you saw before where you need to type some kind of a message to the administrator explaining any kind of pertinent details. If you don't give enough information, the administrator will write back to you and request more information. After you do that, you click on Request Approval. I am going to cancel this because I do want to show you one other way that you might want to search for activities. What I'm doing is I'm going back to that page that we came from where I selected the logon for the portfolio. And then when I scroll down, you're going to see the six areas of focus or the categories that we have for our 21st century diploma. I'm going to just select one of them, which is work ethic, but hopefully you can take some time and look over these activities. When I select work ethic, you're going to see that it's going to come up with a lot of activities. I am going to make it larger so you can see it, and I'm just going to scroll down. And I would read through these until I found something that I thought was interesting for me. I think the activity that I'm going to apply for is to develop a budget for projected first year college cost. And this is worth three points. So now I'm going back to my portfolio. And I'm still logged on, so I don't have to log on a second time. I'm just going to get back there, and I'm going to search for an activity. Now, this time, for my search for activity, I'm going to try to type in budget. I could use college, and I'm sure it would come up, but I'm just going to use budget and see if that brings up this activity. And after I type in budget and hit my enter key, it does bring up the activity. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this add activity portfolio, but this time I am actually going to apply for credit. So I have to type a message to the administrator. I would spend more time typing this message than I am now because this is just for demonstration. But 
After you type it, you're still going to click Request Approval. After you do that, you have to wait for the administrator to get the message and send you back some kind of response. The student has been approved by the administrator, but they have to find out that they were approved. You can either go to Home and look at your messages, or on the menu bar, it's View or Send Messages. Uh, if I went go to Home, then I have to scroll down to see the new messages. And it tells me that I have six messages. And it also tells me that I should click here to go to my inbox. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click here. The messages are in order from top is the most recent to bottom, the oldest. So I do have a message that I've just received. I'm going to click on the view and reply. So I can read the message that was sent by the administrator. And the administrator says, you're approved, and explains that I have to submit some kind of artifact when I finish this activity. So what I'm going to do is I can either close it and leave as unread if I want to go back to it, or I can close and mark as read. Either one. I'm just going to leave it as close and leave unread. Now, let's say I finish my activity and I am ready to submit my artifact. I already have typed up in my Word document what I wanted to say. It's reflective about my activity and I even included some information about my budget for my first year at college. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, take a look at my activity and I have in my menu bar submitted activities. So I'm going to select that. Here I'm going to scroll down and I can see these are the activities that I submitted. The one that I would like to send something to my portfolio, my artifact, is to develop a budget for the projected first year college course. So I'm going to click on view for that activity. And it's going to provide me with two things that I have to do. I first have to upload a file. Then I have to submit it to the administrators so that they know I'm done. The reason for this is you could submit a file and then decide you want to modify it and submit it again. So you don't want to submit to the administrators until you're done. So what I'm going to do here though is I'm going to upload a file. When you do that, it will allow you to browse and find that file. So I'm going to hit the browse button, which is going to bring up my directory. And I am just going to look for that particular file that I'd like to submit to the administrator so that I can apply for my final approval. So I'm just scrolling through here, and there's my artifact that I have, and I'm going to click on Open. Now I'm going to click on the artifact that it's here because it's the correct document, and I'm going to click on the word Upload. Now I'm not finished yet. Remember, what I have to do, though, is I have to submit it to the administrators. So since I uploaded the file, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to click on Submit to Administrators. Here I would write some kind of message that says that I'm done with the activity and I would like final approval, and I'm going to submit it. Then I have to wait for the administrator to take a look at it and give me my final credit. The administrator has given me my three points, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my messages so that I can find out that I have been approved. Again, the most recent messages are at the top, so I'm going to click on that. And when I do, I can find out that I did a wonderful job and that this activity has been approved. Those are all the steps that you need to use the 21st Century Portfolio.